Hi and welcome to a new build episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the first steps I did on the fuselage of my multiplex fan cap. It's the 1.4 meter version of the fan cap. The target is to build up a clip wing fan cap with around 1.2 meters wingspan instead of 1.4 meters. I'll go just through the details what I did so far. The most important mod on the fuselage is the shape of the fuselage in the area where the wing sits on the fuselage because I had to cut out the center pieces of each wing half. Due to this, the shape of the wing changes in the area where it sits on the fuselage, so I had to do the round shape on the fuselage exactly how uh, the wing looks. So I had just to grind down the shape and it went out pretty nice. The wing is perfectly even on the fuselage, so that's what I had to do, just some grinding work, but it's a bit tricky to get it really even that the wing sits perfect on the fuselage. The second modification is to close the gaps on the fuselage for the original servo uh, positions. So you have a pretty big hole underneath the wing for the servo itself. And you also have a slot for the servo tube which goes through rudder and elevator. What I did, I just put in some carbon just to make the fuselage stiffer and to close the gap that the uh, fuselage will look nice finished. Then let's go to the third modification. Third modification is that I wanted to have removable servos, so in case of a crash or whatever uh, servo breaks, whatever reason, I can remove the servo and replace the servo. Don't have to glue the servo in. So what I did is I uh, cut out some frames out of plywood to put these into the frame to screw in the servos and like this you can use two screws and the servos fit perfect like this and are very easy to remove like you know it from every wooden Marcy plane. Another modification is the place where the flight battery sits. The original position of the flight battery is in front of the wing. Like this the plane is pretty nose heavy and I decided to go back with the battery in this position here. What I have to do to make it possible to put in the battery like this, I cut it out three pieces of carbon and glued them into the fuselage and the access for the battery is on the lower side so I just have to put it out and pull it in and like this I can change the battery pretty easy. The downside is I have to turn around the plane to change the battery but uh, the flight characteristics are way better, especially for aerobatics, if you have this battery position. Now let's just take the two halves of the fuselage apart, just to show you inside what I had to do. I didn't glue them already together, just to make it possible to have a look inside the fuselage. So let's have a look inside the fuselage. First, let's have a look at the servo position. I use high-tech servos, the HS65HB and that's how I installed it. What I had to do is just to cut out some foam at this point here and at this point here just to make it possible to go with the wire through the whole fuselage. Also in case of changing a servo just pull out the servo cable Put a simple cord on the end of the cable if you put it out just because you make it very easy to put it back in another new servo with the cable. You just use your cord you pulled in and fix your new servo cable on the cord and pull back the cord through the fuselage and your cable of the servo goes back through the fuselage and you have a very easy installation even if the fuselage is already finished, glued together, that makes it pretty easy to replace the servo like this. Then the other important thing we have to look inside is the mount of the battery. 
these are these three curtain parts I put inside just cut into the wall of the fuselage like this just to fix these carbon parts and from the outside you can't see anything from the cut so that looks pretty clean like this and you're able to pull out the battery and at this point I also put it on a small airport part from the wing I didn't use for the cut down wing part just to fix the battery in a perfect position and also on the upper side here there is a little cut out of the material from the fuselage just to make the battery fit perfect in this place what I still have to figure out is how to uh, make the cover for the battery that it won't come out during a flight but I have some ideas and we will see how it works out when I have finished the cover for the battery because I cannot close the the whole gap here because I need this gap to get uh, hot air from the motor and the ESC out of the fuselage um, this way so no possibility to close this gap completely but there will be a solution which works I'm pretty sure about that the rest of the parts I already installed are installed like they are meant to be it's the motor mount, the cabin mount and the wing mount and uh, they are all glued in with um, Saki CA glue and there is no need to modify these parts so that's all for today I hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe uh, happy new year to everybody out there and happy flying bye bye